Hey guys, I'm Ashley, owner of My Healthy Soap. Today I'm going to show you how I make my hot process rosemary bars. To start, I'm going to weigh out my oils. For my hot process soap, I use organic coconut oil and olive oil. So I measured all the oil out with my scale and now I moved it over to the crock pot so that I can get that coconut oil to melt. So now I'm going to measure out my water for my lye water solution. So next I'm going to go outside to add my lye to my water. This is the part where you need to exercise caution as lye, water, lye can be dangerous. Um, if it gets in your eyes, you go blind, you always want to wear goggles. And you always want to add your lye to your water. Never your water to your lye. I always go outside to do it because it creates a lot of fumes and I don't want those building up inside. So one thing to mention is I always use the water from my Alexa Pure when making soap. I don't use tap water. I've heard that it can mess with your soap. Another option would be using distilled water. Now that my oils have melted, I'm going to give it a little blend just to blend them together a little bit more. And then I'm gonna add my lye water solution. I'm gonna use my stick blender to blend it to trace. Once it's blended to trace, it'll look almost like pudding. Through this whole process, you wanna keep your goggles on and your gloves on because you're still working with lye. Baby woke up from her nap. I do most of my soap making while she sleeps just because working with fly can be dangerous. It can be dangerous having your kids around. So now I just turn the crock pot on to low. It'll cook for about 30 minutes or so. And I try to stay close by and I mix it a couple times throughout that 30 minutes because it is possible that if it gets too hot, it'll start to volcano over and you wanna be there ready to stir it in case that happens. So I use alkanet root powder for my soap colorant for my rosemary bars. It creates a light bluish color when working with hot process soap. So the best way to mix alkanet root powder into soap is with a little bit of oil. I use olive oil to mix it. It doesn't disperse well in water. Some colorants do like clays and stuff, but I found oil to work the best with this. I have my alkanite root powder mixed up with the oil ready to go. I have my rosemary essential oil ready to pour into the soap. When working with hot process soap, you want to move fast at these parts just because it will harden as soon as it cools. Okay, so I have my mold ready and my scale ready. I'm just gonna do everything really quick before it hardens up. my oils adding my colorant and I love using these little spatulas to mix it around So you know your soap is done in the crock pot once it starts to get very fluffy like this looks. And just mix it around. It's a little bit of a workout with hot process soap, getting everything mixed in at this stage. So 
now that I'm starting to see all of the soap looks like it's been colored, I'm going to add it to my mold. I'm just going to throw it right in there. Uh-oh. Get it all in. Whew. My arm is getting tired. Hot process soap is a, quite the arm workout. See how it produces like a very light gray? It'll look a tiny bit blue once it's completely cooled down. Yeah, here at My Healthy Soap, we only scent our soap with essential oils. I just have rosemary in there. Try and get it all pushed down as much as I can in there. Hopefully you guys can see. Trying to work as fast as I can, not really paying attention to the camera. And once I have that all in there, see how that looks very gloopy on the top. I try to just push it down with my hands. Watch out because it's pretty hot. But that just helps to smooth it over so it looks cleaner when I cut it. So this soap will not be cut until tomorrow. You just want to give it about 12 hours at least to cool down all the way. But one of the things I love about hot process soap is it's fully saponified as soon as it's done in the crock pot. It's just, it does benefit from a cure just to evaporate more water so that it becomes a harder, longer lasting bar. And there we go, there's our soap in the mold. So now we're, it's the next day and we're ready to go ahead and cut the soap. I have my soap cutter right here. If you don't have one of these and you're just using, you're just making soap for your family, you don't need one of these at all. You can just use a kitchen knife and a cutting board and you'll be completely fine. But if you do plan to sell soap, using one of these makes a huge difference. Your soap looks way more professional and it's much easier to label soap when it all, is all uniform in size. So now we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you guys how I cut my soap and you'll see the finished product. So I'm gonna go in there to just cut that end off real quick. So what I like to do with these ends, end pieces, is I rip little pieces of it off and I kind of just roll it around in my fingers. Make it a little soft. It almost works like clay then. And then you can go in to the little crevices on your soap and fill those in so the bars look much smoother. So I'm gonna take this piece and shove it into this spot. It's a little stuck. And smooth it out a little bit. And I'm just gonna go through, hit all those pieces, make it look nicer, and then I'll be ready to cut through the whole loaf. All right, you guys, I went in, I filled in all of those little crevices. As long as you were quick in getting your soap into the mold, you shouldn't have too many. So now I'm ready to go ahead and cut it. It's just easier to fill in those little spots before I cut the soap when I'm working with the whole loaf at once. So now I'm gonna start cutting. And this cutting is super quick. I like to kind of smooth out the sides right there as I take it out, set it down, move on to the next one. Again, I like to smooth out those edges there.
So here's a look at the finished hot process bar. Hot process soap definitely turns out a little bit more rustic looking. You can't get as creative with it, but this, the Alkanet root powder definitely produces a pretty color of a light blue, almost gray. So that's how I make my hot process soap. If you're just getting started into soap making, I definitely recommend starting with hot process before you do cold process, just because there's way less factors to go wrong with hot process than there is cold process. These bars are awesome. They lather super well because of all the coconut oil. I love them. I definitely recommend at least giving it a week to cure just so that the bar will harden up and it'll last longer. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Check out my Etsy shop linked in the description below. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.